the first and second and final draft typescript of F. Scott Fitzgerald's short story, I Didn't Get Over. I'm Ben Houston from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. What we have here are uh, quite remarkable survivors. We have the initial first draft, uh, typescript and manuscript of F. Scott Fitzgerald's short story, I Didn't Get Over. He wrote it in the summer of 1936 for uh, Esquire magazine. It was published in October of that year. But here we've got the whole process from the first draft typescript manuscript to the second and final typescript here, showing the progression the author made between the two on his way to the final piece, final published piece. Now these came from a, uh, the collection of his, uh, his typist, James B. Hurley, who was employed by Fitzgerald during 1936 to, uh, to, to help him with his work, um, including this piece. And these were gifted to Hurley and remained in his collection uh, there after the end of his employment uh, at the end of 1936. Now, what's fascinating here is to look at the changes that are made. So the most pointed, I suppose, to begin with is the title. Here, in the first draft, we have the title as I Never Got Over by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And here, in the second and final draft, he's changed that in his hand in pencil here, I Didn't Get Over by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And you can see it's one of many changes, just even on this first sheet, many changes here in Fitzgerald's hand. Not to mention many changes in the, uh, in the first typescript, which has uh, been triple spaced by Hurley just for that reason. So Fitzgerald could make these annotations and changes to the text. Um, one other very important change that is made in the, uh, in the second draft and final draft is the coda that Fitzgerald has added right at the end in pencil here where he essentially changes uh, the nature of the story and he makes it very apparent that the character that the story is about is actually the character that's talking to the narrator in the story, which is quite a significant change he's made there at the last, at the last moment. The story itself is, is, is one that focuses on, uh, uh, on guilt and on um, feelings of social inadequacy and insecurity, something that Fitzgerald would have related to quite heavily in 1936. In the summer, he was going through a very difficult period in his life. He um, had just finished writing the uh, articles for Esquire that have become known as the Crack Up, which charted the uh, collapse of his life and, uh, and his, uh, his depression and his attempt to, uh, to renew himself through his art. So these are really, this is a really personal time for him and um, a really fascinating time when he's, he's essentially creating confessional journalism and, uh, and, and this, this story comes right at the end of that period. So a remarkable collection uh, here of, of typescripts uh, and manuscripts. If you um, would like to see the full details of this piece, or any of our other pieces, please do have a look at our website.